now let's create a kinesis stream and we are going to create the stream from the console but we are going to write the data and read the data from the stream using the cli so first of all i'm inside my aws management console and you can look for kinesis and over here click on get started and then we are going to click on create data stream and we are going to look at the delivery stream analytics and other kinesis applications in later videos so right now let's click on create data stream and let's give our stream a name so i'm going to give it demo stream and we have discussed everything um, earlier and number of shards let's say one so we're going to start with one shard more shards you put it will cost you more so if you put one so you're going to you'll be able to write one megabyte per second into the stream and you'll be able to write thousand records per second and you'll be able to read two megabytes per second and if i change it to two everything just doubles so we are going to keep one shard for now and then click on create kinesis stream so over here the status is being created and then you'll see number of shards as one so while this is being created we are going to use the cli and i have set up my cli as an admin account so i will be able to do all the functions but if you have not set up your cli as an admin user make sure your user has kinesis data stream full access for this video so now our status is active and number of shards is one so now let's write some data to our stream exciting isn't it so now let's hop onto the cli and run some commands so first of all what we are going to do is check the status of our stream like what does it uh, do or what does it describe so i'm going to do aws kinesis describe stream stream name and ours is demo stream and region is us east one i'm going to maximize my screen so so we can see over here our shard has an id and it's a shard id and this is the starting sequence number so remember the sequence numbers that we had discussed uh, discussed we don't generate the sequence numbers kinesis will do that for us and our retention period is 24 hours and this is the name of the stream so an encryption is none at the moment so these are some of the details of our shard at this moment now let's put some data in our stream so to write a record we are going to use the put record command so i'm going to clear my screen and then i'm going to use aws kinesis put record stream name is demo stream and we have to provide the partition key remember that we had discussed so i'm going to provide partition key as one and since we just have one chart it doesn't really matter uh, what partition key you provide but let's say partition key of one and the data that we are going to write so i'm just going to write one so let's and then provide the region and then hit enter so again like it shows us the shard id where it wrote the data and the sequence number and if you see the sequence number and compare to the sequence number that was in the described stream you see that this number is a lot greater than the sequence number that was started at that we started at and it doesn't increment it by one but it increments it by a, a larger number so that's how you put record in the stream so we are just putting one inside the stream so let's add some more data so i'm going to put two with partition key two three and four so we're writing four records um with just one two three and four inside our kinesis stream now to read data from the stream first 
we need to get a shard iterator and let's see how to get a shard iterator so i'm going to type this command aws kinesis get shard iterator stream name demo stream shard iterator type trim horizon so we'll use trim horizon because trim horizon will fetch the oldest data available in the stream so we want to read data from the beginning so we are specifying trim horizon as our shard iterator shard id we'll copy our shard id from here paste it over here and then hit enter so now we got our shard iterator so let's copy that so now we are actually going to retrieve our data so i'm going to write this command aws kinesis get records shard iterator and i'm going to paste the copied one and then limit so i'm going to so we wrote four uh, records but we are going to limit it to two so we're going to fetch first two rows and a lot of times I've seen like when you're trying, you may not get any records back. Sometimes it just takes some time for data to get populated. So you might get blank records back. So let's see if you're able to get the records back. And yes, we have over two records available. So if you look at the records, this is our data so actually it was one but it is base 64 encoded and we'll see how to decode it so that's our one and then the partition key that we had written uh, here is the second record and the approximate arrivals timestamp so this is the time when kinesis when the data was written to the kinesis or when it arrived to kinesis and the sequence number so you'll see that uh, this sequence number two is greater than the sequence number one So these are pretty much the two uh, records now if you want to fetch the next record so you, you will utilize the new shard iterator not the previous one so that will fetch the next set of records so that's how you Use the shard iterator to fetch the next next set of records like remember we Had used the shard iterator over here so next time when we want to fetch the next two records, we'll use this shard iterator. So to decode, what I'm going to do is use this, um, I'm going to echo, copy this uh, value over here, and the output would redirect to base64 decode. So this command will decode our data. And you can see over here in the corner, we have one as the output. Now let's decode our another, the second row, second record. And you can see again in the corner, um, the output is two. So this is how you actually decode your base64 data. And, and we saw the commands how to read data from our Kinesis stream. So while we are here, let's just read the next two rows as well, or next two records. So I'm going to do AWS Kinesis get records shard iterator, and this is our next iterator. So I'm going to copy that and then limit to, and then you can see our partition key of three and four and the next two records are also visible on the screen.